Hello everybody, I'd like to give you an update of the next major project I work on. We will look into solid state driven coil systems and arrays, analyze power consumption versus power generation, identify parameters for scalability and highlight designs which are not efficient. I reference here to some technologies known to some. Example is Stephen Mark's TPU. John Bedini Solid State Battery Charger, Richard Willis, also known the company by Magna Coaster, Energy Systems and Battery Charger. In the first phase, I analyze the performance of the so called isolation transformer multifilar. This one I present here. Each coil will be driven by an amplifier module. We compare the single energy delta versus the multiple module deltas. Tombertini is using it and it will highlight the pros and cons using such a coil. I move then on to build and use high frequency transformer to convert the excess energy we capture into usable energy. You have seen some videos in the past where I demonstrated such a transformer to convert the power output from a Tesla coil. The materials of these cores I use are highly specialized and not available for the mainstream audience. They are in use for highly efficient power transformer stations between power plants or in use for high power laser application or in CT scanners. I will offer my members to purchase such cores via my website. Benchmarks will be created using different core materials and provides a delta between power input and output. The energy level used is a combination of high frequency and a high voltage, sine and pulse wave. I have here as an example one core which is based on nanocrystalline cores or the branding name Nanoperm. I used them already in my motor application for Stern and the Bedini SSG system and demonstrated the superior quality compared to any other core material available on the market. The core will be complemented with amorphous metal alloys, which yield virtually no losses due to eddy current, hysteresis or load. The product, product definition is mat class. For driving the amplifier models, we move on to use the Arduino Mega 2560 controller. I will dedicate a larger section to this circuit. This was first shown in stages with a Quadratron amplifier from Tantratron. I will drive a load from the charging panel tree and demonstrate if it is feasible to do that with less energy required to drive the load compared to the load power consumption. We will then focus on system arrays where we enter into the realm of nature as an architect. I like to remind you on my series I produced of the asynchronous power distribution or the golden mean and the Fibonacci sequence. By following these building plans we optimize the energy flow the way it is meant to be by, na by nature. Please support my efforts to provide you with all the test results and information to build your own energy device by becoming a member. Please read the FAQ section under About and simply click on the subscribe button to the membership level you desire. The next video will be provided you with a multifilar isolation transformer coil performance. Thank you.